Hello, Tab Nation. <clears throat> it's your boy, Tom, and today we're going to be talking about Footer. It's a Chrome browser uh, desktop, basically, or not just Chrome, but any browser, really. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be using Chrome on this example. And I did a video previously about this. I'll link that in the description below if you want the intro to what exactly it is and some of its like capabilities. But it was like my best video of all time in the time frame. I was very shocked. Uh, but you guys loved it. And it wasn't even like the most popular by like a little. It was like by double compared to like what's in second place. So we're doing another one. Today we're going to talk about how to upload your own uh, application, basically. Your own, um, you know, software. This is great because they actually have an incentive program. You meet certain requirements uh, you can actually get paid for however many times people use your app uh, so it's really cool you know i've been paid out a little bit so uh yeah i'm gonna show you how to maybe do it yours uh self <clears throat> so we're gonna go to putter and just putter.com very simple and here it is uh, my previous video you've seen this i went through you know some of the apps and basic uh capabilities and information uh, but yeah, so this is going to be done really in HTML, JavaScript, and uh, CSS. Um, it's basically like you're building almost like a Chrome extension or a browser extension or a website. That's basically what you're building here. Let me fix my camera here. I got a little black spot. All right. Can I just freeze? There we go. Pros for a second. Uh, so yeah. So basically on your desktop or on here, go ahead and actually develop, you know, your code. Uh, once you get it all ready, you've tested it out, you like it, you're ready to put it here. Literally all you do is on your desktop, you drag and drop. You know, so for example, if I wanted to drag and drop, uh, you know, my logo. All you do is drag it like that, and boom, there it is. It, it copies over really quickly. So now it's actually in here. And if you have an account, you always have it there. Um, so yeah. So here we're going to be using this one. This is my simple compiler, or coder, sorry. It's kind of like a very basic um, IDE for coding. So you can code here too. So here I got my HTML my CSS, and my JavaScript, all in one folder. So, you know, I tested it out. I like it. Let's publish it. So right here we have the development center, but we're going to go to the actual folder. We're going to right-click on it, and you can do publish this website, but you are, we're going to be doing create app. So you're just going to click that. It's going to automatically open the development center and go to exactly where you need to be. So this is by far the easiest way to do it I have seen. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to make up some stuff. Tab, YouTube, test. Uh, keep that the same because it automatically changes it to what? Maximize window on start. That's up to you. It depends on what you want your program to do. Uh, you can change the icon if you don't. It's going to just be this little square. I don't recommend doing that because if, you know, 100 people don't change their icon, you're going to have this icon everywhere on your, uh, you know, desktop here. So we're going to use that one I just had right here. We're going to say open. There we go. Description. This is a test and only a test. Obviously, you should put a really good description there because that's what this is, description is going to be your like big selling point. You know, why should I use your app? What functionality and features does it have? So definitely like do a good description, keep it clean, easy to read, but don't go crazy and write an entire essay because nobody's going to read it. Uh, down here, file association. Um, you don't really have to do anything there. Um, you know, it just says you know put a comma between all the different things. You know, JPEG, text. Now that's because that's a JPEG, so we're, we're good. So it's kind of doing everything for you. Now down here you can see my apps. Um, 
these are the three apps that I have uploaded. You know, I got uh, Hangman, just a fun little game to play, Simple Coder, uh, my actual HK Companion uh, tool, which you can find in the Chrome store also. Uh, but now it's actually on here also, which all these will be in the description below too if you want to check them out, kind of see an idea of what an app can actually look like. So we're good. We're going to say create app. Tab YouTube test. Your app has been created. Direct link. So let's open it. And there it is. Now, obviously, I was using my coding stuff, which, by the way, you can do here to actually code with this stuff. So you can do, you know, write your HTML and uh, whatnot. Very simple. Very simple. Expands, but this part doesn't. So it's done. I can go back to apps. There it is. Now you have some options here. This one right here will open it in a new tab as like a standalone app. I can use that link to give to my friends, that kind of stuff. Uh, launch app. We can click that. That's going to open it in the actual already browser that I'm in versus opening another tab. And then you got edit which is just what the screen we saw in case you want to change like your description or whatever. Now it says save versus that. Uh, also, you can open it here. You can get your link right here for a direct link to it to share with your friends or coworkers, uh, whatever, or with yourself on other computers. Now, let's say, you know, obviously this is a test, nothing but a test. You have delete app here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this, you know, it gives you the warning. Are you sure? Obviously I am. I don't want anybody actually using this because I already made the real app with information. Now, if you want to get really um, dive into this a lot more compared to what I've talked about in previous videos with like HTML and JavaScript and all that kind of stuff with creating apps, this is where you can go. And, um, you know, their documentation is laid out very well kind of reminds me of the auto hockey website on how it's uh, laid out so it's probably one of my favorite documentations so this one matches up to that level in my opinion let me know in the comments below if you agree they're always looking for feedback you know they're pretty new uh, so they're uh, they're working hard uh, getting out there and get moving forward uh, so yeah you can see here a lot of examples and you know just explanations so if you really want to dive deep I mean look there's a, a lot of good stuff there so yeah, now, obviously just to throw this out here, on your uh, bar down here, you do have the development center. It's three little squares stacked on each other. You just click that and it's going to take you back to your uh, apps page. So that's how you re-access it if you have closed this. Uh, yeah, definitely hit that subscribe button, throwing out one, two videos every week, usually having to do with automation, but like in this video, because you guys like the other one so much i like to expand a little bit here and there just for fun hopefully you learn something new that could be just as helpful um like i said you know you can go to payment method you know it's in there showing my paypal account uh, every month you will receive your earnings from the previous month your payment is usually processed when the first seven business days of the new month please do not hesitate to contact should you have any questions, and I have actually had questions uh, when I was making the video. I wanted to make sure I was getting some of the information correct, and I contacted them, and uh, they were pretty responsive, uh, pretty fast, uh, very easy to understand, and uh, understand what I was trying to get at. All right, guys, I will see you all on the next one.